What is going on guys, Fleur here and today we're going to have the 6th episode of my running back girl to glory Austin Morris for the Alabama Crimson Tide today taking on the Georgia State Panthers and this is pretty much going to be a breeze along game as this is their first season as a Division 1 team so we're going to see how, how much stats we can put up and how much points we can pour on as Austin Morris starts off this game with a nice run to the outside picking up 14 yards and that'll move the chains. So now it's first and 10 once again. Taking the handoff, going back to the left up the middle. Picking up 5 yards on that play. So now we got another first and 10. Taking the handoff to the right side. And we get up the middle, picking up 10 yards just short of the first down. Now it would be third and 1. And we're going to put a man in motion. Austin Morris going to take the handoff to the right. And bunch of great blocks right there and as he has open field ahead of him and no one is going to catch him down the sideline goes Austin Morris into the end zone for the touchdown there's just great blocks setting him up to get into the end zone right there so getting that touchdown 10 nothing returning a punt right here with under three minutes to go in the first quarter we're going to take it to the right then cut back to the left nice blocks once again on this, these special teams and we're going to pick up 16 yards on that return so that's a nice job right there. We would get a field goal on that drive as we were back to return yet another punt already into the second quarter. And this time we're cutting over to the right and we're around the edge, getting to the outside, trying to get up the sidelines. And we're finally taken down after a huge 26 yard return. Austin Morris using his speed a lot in the return game. So right here it is first and 10. We're going to take the hand off to the right once again, cut back left and there's a big hole up the middle. We use that and that'll be an eight yard gain. 95 yards at this point. Now it'll be second and 10 inside the 30. And we're going to take this hand off to the right once again. Nice blocks. And we juke one guy out. And then looks like we're going to walk into the end zone, but we would be hit out of bounds at around the three or the two yard line. Still a great run. 10 yards or 10 attempts for 120 yards in this game. 20 nothing. And right here, McCarron finds his receiver wide open in the end zone for a touchdown right there. Under four minutes to go in the half, we're going to take the handoff to the left, and we're going to get up the field, uh, moving the chains. That'll be a 10-yard gain and 127 yards at this point. Second and seven now, taking the handoff to the right, and we're going to pick up decent yards right there, five yards on that play. Later, we got first and goal, and looks like we're going to take the handoff up the middle after we put the man in motion and we basically just walk right into the end zone making it look easy you know our line's doing a good job and like i said not too great of an opponent but right here 20 seconds to go in the half 41 nothing already looks like we're getting a halfback screenplay and we're going up field getting some key blocks right there we're set up perfectly and we get into the end zone for a 20 yard touchdown catch so now 48 nothing. Looks like we're about to score again as we're in the second half now. Second and goal. Taking the hand off to the right, and we get up up into the end zone. So 55 nothing now. Just look at that wall that the line set up for him. And you just squeak it in there. Returning a punt now. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Cutting to the left. Trying to cut up field. Getting down the sidelines. 15-yard return right there. And now... First and 10, 55 nothing is the score, like I said. Taking the handoff, cutting back to the left, and we fall forward for a seven yard gain right there. Second and three now, but now it's first and 10. And the backup quarterback's in the game as we get the handoff to the right. Cut back left for a big gain right there, 16 yards inside the five. McCarron would be injured, but he would be fine. And we ended up just subbing him out anyway because we just got such a huge lead. And now we're returning this punt as we were about to end the third quarter getting around the edge but we would be taken down before we could cut it up 14 yards on that return now we take the handoff to the right cut up that hole and cut to the outside and we got open field ahead of us and we get into the end zone once again like i said can't credit our blocking on enough even though you know it's not a hard uh, hard uh opponent anyway so nine yards right there 69 nothing is the score we would have to give the ball back to them I'm returning yet another punt and we're making a couple guys miss and we cut back to the inside and that's a huge punt return right there 27 yards and now looks like we're under four minutes to go the backup quarterback goes deep and he finds a receiver in the end zone for a touchdown this backup quarterback is five of six on the day so that's showing good promise for whenever McCarron is gone 
So 76 to nothing. The score, three minutes to go. Taking the handoff to the right, Austin Morris trying to get the outside. Cuts back inside. Great box once again. Looks like he might break it to the outside once again. 28 yards as he is going to be taken down. 232 yards on the day, 8.9 yard average. So about a minute to go in the game. Taking the handoff to the right once again. Trying to get to the outside, and we do just that. Going up the sideline, making guys miss left and right, and we're finally taken down near the 20-yard line after a huge 31-yard rush. So you're going to see right here we got second and goal now. We're going to take the handoff to the left and just walk into the end zone. Easy touchdown right there. Put up so many points today, and the defense got the shutout. Like I said, Georgia State, not the hardest opponent, obviously. You know, this is their first year in Division One. As you see the play of the game, no doubt, big touchdown run right there. And would be the player of the game, no doubt. Like I said, 29 carries, 266 yards, five rushing touchdowns. And we also had that one 20-yard receiving touchdown. And that'll be it for this episode. Next week, we play Kentucky. And, yeah, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. As always, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Peace.